latest on Typhoon Maria. At 10 a.m. Japan Standard Time on July 7th, it still had winds of 145 miles per hour and 930 millibars pressure. It's at 17.2 degrees north, 140.7 degrees east. It's had some slight movement towards the northwest, uh, currently estimated to be at somewhere around 4 knots, around 5 miles per hour. Over the next few days, we expect the storm will move towards the northwest, and this stalling motion has really caused the models to have a rethink on its uh, forecast track. They're still trending southwards, and you can see on this forecast model here, it's likely to pass now, according to GFS at least, and a few of the models are in agreement that it will move through the southernmost Ryukyu Islands, and then possibly into China, and maybe even affecting Taiwan. Well, we'll wait and see on that. As for now, it's still a very strong Stage 8, uh, typhoon, extreme damage potential and uh, still in very much a similar place to where it was and where it has been uh, for the last 24 hours now since it reached that uh, category 5 peak and when it first looked as though it could have become a historic intensity storm it did uh, reach a buffer at some point but there could still be a chance for further intensification in the next 24 hours. So this is what we're looking at as the storm draws nearer over the next few days. Again, if you're looking at the earlier forecast, we were looking more at Okinawa. Now we're looking more towards the southern islands of the Ryukyu Island chain of Japan and possibly for northern Taiwan as well. That is still not set in stone either, just like the Okinawa uh, solution wasn't set in stone. It could go back there again. We'll wait and see on what happens, but it is pretty much assured that at least some of those Ryukyu Islands of Japan will be affected strongly by this storm. I don't think there's really any argument as to what the intensity of the storm will be by the time it gets there. Pretty much agreement on all of the models that it will remain a major typhoon of category 3 or higher for the next 4 or 5 days, which is long enough to take it into um, wherever it ends up, into the East China Sea or along the coast of China. Wind shear will be higher for a short amount of time before decreasing again later on today. And you can see again the track forecast map there, sea surface temperatures remain high, relative humidity remains decent. This is how the storm's actually been looking and why it hasn't intensified in the last 24 hours is because of a rather long-winded eye wall replacement cycle which is just about to finish by the looks of things and it will have a pretty big eye once it clears itself out again which it looks to be in the process of doing. We could have a very significant looking at least in looks if not in intensity but I think we may, may well get both in the next 24 hours as Maria makes another run for category 5 status. We will be watching and we'll give you some more updates as we get them. That's all for now. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already. Force 13 on YouTube, subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page under the same name and we're on Twitter. It's at Force 13, our handle, if you'd like to follow us and engage with us there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron on Patreon where you can find more information and rewards and benefits from that as well with a big thanks to Jesper and Spencer Hey Bang for their recent contributions on the project. It's looking very good indeed and we hope to bring more content in the future. You can also find Force 13 on Skype and my personal account Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord for Tropical Weather Chat.